One day I realized that I had two capacitors that might be suitable for a small coil gun or disc launcher or something like that. Uh, they are 900 microfarads and 400 volts DC each, and they're in parallel. Uh, when they're charged to full 400 volts, it's 144 joules. Um, it's silicon controlled rectifier triggered. Um, they are SK065K, if I recall correctly. Um, they're rated for 950 amps pulse each, and I have two of them in parallel. Uh, they seem to be sharing uh, the power alright, considering both of them are the same warmth when I open it up, which actually there is no warmth, so I'm not really worried about it. Then again, the pulse is probably really short because it's such low capacitance. Anyway, right now I have a small coil hooked up for magnetic disc launcher. It, it'll shoot about four feet high, which kind of surprised me the first time I did it because it's pretty low power and I didn't expect it to go that high. And as you can see all the wires come out because of magnetic force. I need to wind a new one and make it somehow so that it won't do that, but it works for right now. Um, and what I'm using to charge it is a transformer out of a two power supply. Well, it was an audio amp at first. You might have seen my video on that. And I have it going through a full wave rectifier and a 1.2000 ohm resistor. Uh, I need a new one because it it starts to um, smell pretty bad after a while because it gets really hot. But it hasn't melted and it hasn't melted my box even though the warm gets, I mean, even though the top gets pretty warm up here. But anyway, have my meter hooked up. If you see it jump to 400 like that, that doesn't mean it's actually at 400. It just does that whenever I let go of this button. A little bit over 400. <laughs> and I can put something on top of it, and, it'll, and that'll go even further than the disc. Whoa, way, way too high. Let's see if you can see it. Not at all. I didn't even see where the um, screw went, but disc is down here. Alright, well, I've also uh, made a small coil gun coil. It's kind of crap right now, but it works. That's it. it. I'm not sure how many turns it is, but it's about. It's the same gauge wire as this, which is about 16 or 14 or something like that, and it's enameled wire. It's over 100 turns, I know that for sure. These are the projectiles, they're just ground down uh, nails. I just sharpened it up a little bit since it wasn't very sharp at first and I ground the heads off. Um, let me put the coil gun coil on real quick. I have killed two silicon controlled rectifiers. I don't really understand why though. Um, I was trying to explode a thin wire. The wire exploded and there was still 394 four volts left in the capacitor which kind of intrigued me but it killed the SCRs because um, as soon as I put these two wires together to uh, or I put a coil on it actually I don't really remember now <laughs> all I know is it it was short it died short they didn't explode though they just shorted it's kind of sad but whatever Yes, I have no permanent connections right now, it's just wires twisted together. Let me charge it up first, and I'm going to be shooting at that Coke box right there. I hold the barrel so that it doesn't shoot back. Alright, three, two, one. Oh yeah, see what happens when you don't have a good connection? It just sparks. And you get a terrible loss of power when that happens, as you might be able to imagine. And only that, not only that, but the coil keeps moving back too, so I'm just going to hold it by the coil. Don't worry, it's got a few layers of electrical tape. Sorry, I'm kind of trying to multitask here. I have to cram the camera up against the desk with my stomach. Alright, that went in pretty deep. Yeah, whatever. 
I'll do another shot while I have the camera space. Hopefully I do. It's probably about to turn off on itself because it sucks like that. Three, two, one.